artist. Can you tell me what you're working on right now? Yes, I have a new single coming out November 28th. It's called Poison, and it's basically equating falling in love to being poisoned. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little dark. It's not your average love song, but I like it. There's a lot of hidden meanings to it. Was it inspired by something? Perhaps. <laughs> no, it's, it's just inspired by, like, you know, having confidence and knowing who you are until you're, like, hit by, like, that guy that you did not expect to fall for, a guy or girl, and you're like, what is going on? We've all been there. Yeah. So I have to ask you, as a female artist, I feel like there's a huge difference between men and females in this industry, especially tonight I've noticed it's very rare that a female is nominated outside of their gender category. Why do you think that is? Um, if we want to get real deep into it, I study um, femgen at Stanford. That's not my main thing, but like I think, you know, I think our society is slowly progressing towards equality, but it's not quite there yet, and it's just easier for men to be seen as like an artist, and women are kind of like put in like niche environments, um, unfortunately. But I think we have some great females. I'm hoping Julia Michaels pulls through for the win for the new uh, new artist. I love her. So hopefully we'll see some good female representation tonight. I agree. So as someone who has a platform as an artist, do you feel like you have a responsibility to sort of influence your followers? Absolutely. I think anyone with any sort of following, no matter how small, has a responsibility to put out a good message and be a good role model. I like doing that through education. Um, I'm still in school uh, and I haven't dropped out. I'm on campus and I just want to give people like another option. Like, you know, you can be in the entertainment business and not drop out of school. That's a totally valid and fun option. Do you have any secrets on how you keep it all going? Oh man, it is a lot of coffee. <laughs> it's a lot of coffee, that's pretty much it. A lot of coffee and a lot of airplanes. So before you go, I just want to know, is there any particular artist that you thought killed it this year but didn't get a nominee? Ooh. So I'm biased because John Mayer is my favorite artist of all time. I don't know if he's like even in like the pop scene or whatever he's doing, but I just always think he should be like John Mayer, best artist of all time. So that's me. <laughs> I'm a big fan of him too. 